Hi everyone, it's Tiffany with Mastery Connect, a regional education consultant and a former educator who used Mastery Connect in the classroom. Today's focus of our video is on using the performance grader to assess math skills, specifically in the primary grades. So think of counting, number recognition, even doing problem solving with manipulatives. Anything where you as the teacher are asking students for a response or if it's performance based, where you're asking them to do a task. Today we have our primary grades guru, Jenna, here with us. Jenna is a regional education consultant with Mastery Connect and also taught in kindergarten through second grade and was an instructional coach. Hey everyone, super excited to be here with you and share some math assessments for the primary grades. Um, we all know developmentally students in the younger grades learn math best by doing math. Students demonstrate their math skills by using manipulatives, verbally identifying numbers and counting, basically you asking them a lot of questions and they either need to tell you something or do something. And so today I'm going to show you a math assessment we developed as a team. The same assessment was used each quarter and it lined up with the math skills being taught. However, the mastery levels were adjusted throughout the year, starting with a lower level to achieve mastery at the beginning and then slowly increasing that. This is a great way to show growth and really help students master all of these skills by the end of the year. Many of us teachers even used it as data for our personal professional development growth plans that our principals required. So just again, a great overall way to cover all your basis. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my Mastery Connect account and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use a rubric criteria assessment along with the performance grader tool to ask students these questions and gather that data. So I'm in my Mastery Connect account and I'm gonna to go to the trackers tab to get started. But again, just as a reminder, there is a question mark in the top right hand corner to access the Help Center and Online PD if you want to specifically know how to add a rubric criteria assessment and use the performance grader to deliver. So I'm gonna click into my kindergarten math tracker. And as you can see, all of my kindergarten math standards are across the top. These gray columns are multi-standard assessments. So I'm assessing multiple standards within one assessment. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into that to pull up the assessment. You'll notice there's actually a grade button to launch the performance grader because again, it's a rubric criteria type assessment where I as a teacher have to assign a point value. So on the left, you'll see student names. In the middle, you'll see the assessment. And then on the right, the point values. So this is a little different than assigning rubric points for a common language arts assessment. Um, it's really just asking questions to the students and then giving them a score based on their response. So counting, seeing how high they can count, recognition of numbers. I can even give them blocks to do some activities with. And based on what they do, I'm giving them a point value um, to really determine that mastery and progress. Now what's really cool is if I don't want to go ahead and go through this entire assessment because maybe some students can't even tell you a number or write one, so it's a little frustrating to them, you can always still score the assessment um, and save it. But when you're finished, you hit score assessment and you will actually get the mastery levels for all the standards that were covered. So the benefit of this is in the reports. So it provides great collaboration. It allows you as the teacher to pinpoint what skills really need to be worked on. So pulling up the item analysis, you might notice this looks a little different than if you're doing multiple choice or true false, you'll actually see the point values. So question two, I noticed that my students actually scored all the highest possible. So switching back to my assessment, my kids are really good at recognizing numbers. So then switching back to the report, I can determine what skills do I really need to target. So question nine looks like I need a little bit of work. I can even click on the bars to see who those students are. And then again, switch back over to that assessment and determine what skill to work on. And like I said, mastery levels are uh, adjusted throughout the year so that you can really track that growth. And I just think it's a great way to effectively and efficiently gather that data for those math skills right on the spot and have it all disaggregated for you um, to really promote that collaboration, allow you to use that data to inform your instruction. So thanks for letting me share. Thanks, Jenna. 
So remember, this is a quick, easy, effective way to track math skills throughout the year. And we use performance grader specifically for this assessment. If you would like more videos like this one, subscribe below. And if you need help on a specific question or a topic, don't forget to visit our help center by clicking on that question mark in your account and submit a support request. Have a great day.